group of Concourse Village tenants, they are suing their landlord in housing court. News 12's Carmen Grant was there as they confronted their landlord about poor living conditions in the building. You accuse me of the, yeah. of the fire because I'm exposing you on TV. Sue her for defamation. The slumlord you are. A heated exchange yeah, taking place between landlord He Yang That's and fine. tenants of 1210 Clay Avenue over a recent fire in the building and what they claim are deplorable living conditions inside their apartments. And this is broke out of They're suing their landlord in Bronx Housing Court to force her to make repairs, which they claim Yang has neglected for years. You see the gas pipe? Mm -hmm. People should be cut, closed. So no gas can come in here. We're told the Bronx landlord has a place in Lower Manhattan, but also lives in the building. Yang tells News 12 she properly maintains her six-story walk-up. They have access to me every day. They can knock on my door, whatever they need to be done. What about the conditions? If these people condition is bad, they could have been already left, okay? They are too comfortable. Yang and Michi has 21 current violations she says are mostly related to ongoing repairs and vermin complaints. But tenants tell News 12 there have also been issues of illegal conversions associated with the property. She rents out rooms in a rent stabilized buildings so that she can make more money. But Yang says she's the one being taken advantage of. Tenants are currently on a rent strike. They have not paid the rent since the pandemic started. Because of the strong odor in the building from last week's fire, advocates are helping tenants find temporary housing as they continue their suit against their landlord. Carmen Grant, News 12.